Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today is all about uh, removing Windows 10 apps using SCCM and Microsoft Store for Business. Now, this is part two. In part one, I showed you guys how to add Microsoft for Business within your SCCM server, and the SCCM server version that we're using is 1806. So today is part two. And part two is going to show you a little bit of issues that I had when I added Microsoft Store for Business within my SCCM. I'm going to show you guys how to fix it and also how to remove Windows 10 apps. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is open up your favorite browser. I'm opening up Internet Explorer within my SCCM server. You want to go into businessstore.microsoft.com. It's going to load up the page. You want to click on sign in. You're going to enter your uh, email address and then your password and then you're signed in. So from here, uh, we are going to remove the Xbox. I don't think you want the Xbox app part of your image when you're deploying Windows 10 to your users, right? So within the search, the store, I'm going to start typing Xbox and let's click on the Xbox app. It's going to take you here. So we are going to click on get the app. We're going to accept the license and terms and click or accept. It's going to start loading up and Xbox has been purchased and added to your inventory. How awesome is that? You're probably saying to yourself, what inventory? Now, within SCCM, there's an inventory and you're going to see all the apps that you have purchased. I'm going to show you guys pretty soon. Don't worry about it. Click close and then that's it. So go back inside your SCCM console and from there you want to go inside administration and within administration cloud services and within cloud services you want to go inside azure services from here you want to click on sync from microsoft store for business click on that it takes some time but for me i received this problem right here say last sync status was failed uh, i waited i waited i waited and i was still getting this issue that it was a failure so i did a little bit of investigation and within my uh status i noticed that i was having issues uh, cloud connection issues. I was like, well, oh, what's going on? So the way that I fixed it was the following. You want to go back inside your businessstore.microsoft.com site. From here, you're going to click on manage. And within manage, you want to click on settings. Within settings, you want to go into distribute. And then you want to go inside management tools. Now, in the first part, we created an app. We created a Microsoft store app ID. My ID was named BTNHD. All right, and whatever you guys called it when we did part one of the video, that's what you're going to be searching for. So you're going to click on add management tool. You're going to get this nice little dialog box and type in your app ID. If you watch part one, in part one, I called mine BTNHD. So that's what I'm going to type and it's going to automatically pick up. You're going to click on it, click on add, and there you go. By default, the status is going to be inactive. So click on activate and the status is going to change to active. Awesome. So go back inside your SCCM, click on sync from Microsoft Store for Business. Now don't freak out if it doesn't work. This for me took about, oh Jesus, I think 24 hours for it to work correctly and eventually you're going to see the last sync status succeeded. Now the way that you know that it has succeeded when you go inside the following. From here, you wanna click on software library, go to overview, click on application management, expand that and go inside license information for store apps and you're going to see your Xbox. Now I had a couple of these already because I was playing around and testing stuff out, but you're going to see that your the app that you approve or you retrieve within the, the Microsoft Business Store, it's going to be loaded here. Next thing that you need to do is select it and once you select it, click on create application. You're going to get this nice little window, click next, click next again. Uh, general information, I left everything as the default. Click next again, nice little summary, next, and it's gonna start doing its thing. And when everything works out, you're going to see this. Awesome, green check mark is always a good thing. So you go back in here, you go inside applications, and you're going to see your app, right? Right click on your app, and you want to do is deploy. You're gonna get the nice little deploy software wizard, and you want to click on browse to select your collection. For me, I clicked on all users and clicked OK. Clicked on next. The content, you don't really need to do anything. Clicked on next. Now for the deployment settings, this is the important part because the action, we're not installing it. We're trying to remove it from the Windows 10 image. 
So click on the drop down and click on uninstall. You got more options here. It's up to you how you want to configure it within your environment. Uh, I didn't do anything here. I clicked on next. Scheduling, I left it as the default. User experience, left it as the default. Alerts, left it as the default. Again, scheduling, user experience, and alerts, this is really up to your environment. I can't tell you what's best practice. I can't tell you, okay, this is what you need to do. It's up to you, okay? Click on next, got a nice little summary. And next again, completion. When you click OK, you're there. Your deployment type is going to be one, deployment one, status is active, and that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below. If you have any questions or comments or have you tried this before, I would like to know your feedback. Again, this is part two, a little small little mini series. Part one was adding the Microsoft Store it for Business within your SCCM. And today, uh, part two was all about removing uh, a Windows 10 app and using Microsoft Store for business within your SCCM to remove the Windows 10 app. Uh, make sure you guys hit that like button and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.